Okay. I'm just out yeah, walking around after a very hot day. And it is a little after 7 o'clock p.m. And I am uh, just feel like walking around. Maybe uh, give you guys a little tour. Tomatoes going crazy. Cherry tomatoes. Absolutely going crazy. We don't know what to do with all the tomatoes we're getting. Cucumbers haven't survived very well, but... We did get a uh, we did get several from the cucumbers <clears throat> and these tomatoes these green zebras oh man they're delicious and the pretty zinnias and the vining uh, I forgot what the name there's a morning glory there and also some other kind of forgot the name of it. To go through here, you gotta watch what you're doing. It's pretty sunflowers. They're about done too. But there's some more tomatoes. And that tomato's about had it. But clematis is blooming again. Hmm, that's odd. And we've gotten a little rain. Oh, not quite a half an inch. <clears throat> and the peppers have done well. Some peppers done in there. Green and red and all kinds of good peppers. And my uh, Gertrude Jekyll rose. Oh my, it's falling over. I don't know what's caused that to fall over the rain, maybe. But it sure has. And of course, Japanese beetles love it. And some more flowers. Ooh, yucky. Something's gotten in that tomato. I don't think that's a good one there. I'm to get rid of that tomato. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, tomato. <clears throat> oh, let's see what else is happening in the yard. Not a lot. Uh, batteries, 37% in this GoPro. Beautiful evening sky there. Beautiful blue sky. It won't be long before we'll start seeing leaf color change. And the first tree it starts to change and my little plot of ground here is that one directly in front of me which is a a black gum a black gum tree which is a native tree to North America here here and there it's a pretty tree in the fall rusty red color Got a beautiful shape to it, too. And I really do like that tree a whole lot. Oh, there's some leaves changing over there. And I'm not sure what kind of tree that is. Oh, that's old maple right there. This, I'm not sure what kind of. Huh. Leaves are changing on that. That's a pretty leaf right there. I 
understory. I love where we live, this lot, our little three acre, almost four acres we have. It's, it's relatively quiet most of the time. There is a house over there, but you can see it or not, but uh, nobody lives there. And then we have, besides my favorite black gum we have this giant oak which i've climbed before and probably will cl climb again i want to climb it again <clears throat> that big pretty oak tree it's a white oak it's I mean, it's a red oak. I'm sorry, it's not a white oak. It's a red oak. And don't drop many acorns, though. For some reason. And it needs trimmed. There's some dead branches in it. But how in the world I get up there and trim it? I have no idea. But it's a red oak. And it has... Oh, I forgot what those little things are called that come up on it. Those little blister type things. But I was going to let you tell you about the, the way you can tell a red oak from a white oak. Get one of the leaves here. Oh, uh, those are neat looking little. What you call it's on that leaf. But, um,. The red oaks have pointy tipped leaves, as you can see there. And the white oaks are more rounded. And also the acorns are sweeter on the white oaks. And I've actually tasted them to prove that point. But I don't have any white oaks here in, the, in my little plot of ground. And I haven't seen deer yet of course it's late summer we'll start seeing them around probably once the weather stays cool probably start coming out there's about 30 something acres back in there that at one point i wanted to buy but it's all new growth relatively new growth there's it's not an old growth forest. Oh, there in my old place. We've been here, oh, close to 30 years we've lived here. We've been married 28. And my old shed over there needs some work. I need to, I need to jack it up and <clears throat> see if I can level that corner out. Or just let it fall over. <laughs> but when you all remember seeing my big tree I had cut down, wild cherry tree, we, <clears throat> my buddy.
Bobby, Bobby cut it up and we we hauled the logs over here drug them over here and it's cherry and made some good some good logs good pieces of wood there a big old piece of cherry and i probably shouldn't be walking around here with flip-flops on it's kind of damp but all this is property that i own all in there there's a few good trees you just straight trunk trees that would be good for logging but i'm not gonna do anything with them old swing set over there that's kind of an eyesore area to me over there and i should get over there and try to clean it up but i'm lazy i guess <clears throat> and where's the tree we carved our initials in a tree me and the kids and my brothers when they was up one year and it's pretty close around here it might be there it is i'm not even sure what kind of tree it is but we did carve our initials in it i don't know if you can see or not yeah what, what year that is i don't know that one there says chuck that's my brother's name c-h-u-c-k and there's me my brother called me well most of you guys don't know what my real name is but if you can make it out there it is i'm not going to tell you because and there's aj aj right there and i don't know if that's o2 maybe and that looks like jc i don't know who that i don't know a no there's it's aj i don't know who that one is but not a very good carving job it sure is quiet in the woods really really like the uh the quiet except for every now and then the car traffic going by out front well head back to the house there's a few more logs over there and some some trash i need to get that just y'all just ignore that <clears throat> We'll go this way. Here's where my some other logs are. Oh yeah, my shed. The wall of cutouts from the tires. And I stuck them there and painted them into all that painting on there. I don't know. Back when I was artistic or something. And this is another tree that needs trimmed. <laughs> oh my. There's an old tire, some old tire planters couple of them and watch my step through the trunks or I'll fall and over here in my King Simba where I buried him right there I need to clean it out a little bit now it's getting kind of scruffy looking and that's a old pear tree but uh pears you can't eat I forget the name and here's where I keep my lawn tools it's a one two three four five branches of a uh, that's a birch tree there the branches out five or maybe yeah one two three four five branches on that thing coming out yep that's the side ain't it i just thought that's interesting how they do that
we could go real quick before the battery runs out across the yard here and show you guys the the big rock it's where my kids used to play and where we planted a a tree that has grown three times its size we planted it or more it's a young maple right there i planted And there's the house that my was telling you about earlier that nobody lives in. That's a aspen. We call them a quaking aspen. That's an aspen tree there. You can see by quaking, I mean when the when it's windy, the leaves begin to shake like that one is there I don't know if you can see it or not but this big rock I used to have a little a little carved out little garden area here I planted some things but they never did they never did too well but this huge boulder here and they they tried to drill I heard when my neighbor right there was living said that they tried to drill this for some reason or another it's what them holes were there before but I don't know how far down under there it goes but it's a big old rock I do know that. And that maple tree there is huge. I wish it was closer to the house. We need some more shade. We don't have a lot of shade over our house. And a couple of rows of Sharon's. This one is actually blooming a little. They never do bloom very well. I don't know why. It's pretty when it does bloom. Not many blooms on it. And that evergreen is in the shape of a Christmas tree. It's pretty. Well, I'll stop it here. So you guys, one last look at my... This is where I live. Where I call home. Kind of second home. My real home's in Kentucky. I guess my home state is Kentucky. Pennsylvania is not my home state. Never has been, never will be. Maybe I'll make it back to Kentucky one of these days. Okay, here's a look at me. See ya.